guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today we're going to be doing a collective makeup and skincare haul this haul isn't too big i haven't bought like a whole bunch of stuff most of this is actually drugstore but i realized it's been a long time since i've done a haul and i did go out and just pick up a couple of things some skincare some makeup so i thought i would just do a quick what was that? that so i thought i would just do a quick collective haul for you guys and just show you what i've been picking up and what i'm going to be trying out over the next couple of weeks so if you like haul videos don't forget to give this a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe at the little bell icon so you're notified whenever i post a new video so i have most of my items right here not everything came from the walmart where i have the bag from a couple things i got online a couple things i got at target but let's just go through it. First, I want to do the skincare that I picked up. I was at TJ Maxx the other day and I picked up three bottles of my favorite vitamin C serum from Measurable Difference. Whenever I see this in TJ Maxx, I jump on it because it's kind of hit or miss whether you'll actually find it there and it's super affordable. It's $6.99. You can find this online and through the Shop Hush app, but either way, it's at least $12. So you can get it cheaper and it's just so much easier to buy it whenever i see it but the last like three or four times i was at tj maxx i didn't see anything and i was really worried that they were like gonna stop carrying it it wasn't gonna be there anymore but i went yesterday and i found three bottles so i got all three so i should be set for the next couple of months for my vitamin c Next, I have a little mini haul from The Balm. They did have the 50% off sale. I would have gotten this a lot sooner, but there was something wrong with my order and the shipping. So my order got shipped back to the company. They had to email me. I had to re-give them my address and they shipped it back out. So I got it a few weeks later than I was supposed to, but everything is here. I got two of the Sexy Mama face powders. I absolutely adore this powder. Normally it retails for $20. On the sale, it was $10. For a powder can we focus this is a very good sized powder and for ten dollars you really can't beat it it's one of my absolute favorites especially during the summer i do like to depot these and keep them in my big z palette so once i'm through a couple of the other powders that i'm using i'll depot one and throw it in my z palette the last thing i picked up from the balm is actually a foundation i've been really curious about i haven't seen a whole lot about it online it's not really brand new it's kind of old it's the even steven whipped foundation and i was looking online and it looked kind of similar to the texture and the finish of the Chantecai foundation that I love so much. So I thought I would just, you know, give it a try, see what it's about. You don't get a whole lot of product in here. It's really tiny. Uh, how many products you get? Yeah, it's only 0.45 fluid ounces. It's half an ounce, uh, but it was half off and I just wanted to try it out. Let me see, what shade did I get? I got light medium. So I think that should be a good match, but I am gonna be trying this out. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see a whole video on this, cause I could do that. Hey, before we get into the new things I picked up, I do have a couple of repurchases of some absolute favorite products that I found on sale at Walmart. So normally I wouldn't have picked these up, but they're things that I love and I know eventually I was going to rebuy. And they were just so much cheaper at this Walmart that I went to. It was actually insane. The first thing I got is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in shade 10. I found this. It was less than like $4 at this Walmart. I don't know what was going on, but normally I think this is around 10. I love this powder. It lasts forever. So finely milled. Oh, I just, I love this for baking. I love this for just setting the whole face. And for under $5, it's a steal. Like I've, I've had to hold myself back from buying more than one. Uh, but this is very great. They have a good shade range. I'd highly, highly recommend this one. And another drugstore powder that was really cheap at this Walmart. This is normally like $3.99. It was like a dollar something at this Walmart no idea why but i picked up another one this is the stay matte powder from rimmel in shade 004 sandstorm if you've been on my channel for any length of time you know that i absolutely adore this powder i currently already have a backup of it but since it was like a dollar something i just i had to because i'm not gonna find it that cheap anywhere else okay moving on to some new products well not new new but new to me i was at my target and i found makeup geek now, Makeup Geek is a brand that's been on my radar for a while. Back when I first started watching YouTube, like, that's all anybody ever talked about was Makeup Geek. But I've not tried 
really any of their products before so what i did is i picked up two bronzers and a highlighter they didn't have any samples open so that's why i got two of the bronzers i really have no idea which one's going to work for me um but the highlighter i think is going to work this highlighter is called nightlight let me see i actually haven't opened these yet either okay so that is the packaging right there and then this is the shade of the highlighter that looks beautiful it's like a nice peachy oh peachy gold You can't really see it but yeah that's gonna work out really well so that's the highlighter that i got let's break into these bronzers because that was like the only thing that was a little disappointing about the display at target was that they didn't have they didn't even have pictures of what like the shades looked like all you got were like these little pictures at the end of the box and you kind of had to figure it out from there so one i have sunkissed which they say is a fair skin bronzer and then i have tawny which is supposed to be a medium skin bronzer i am in like the medium light category like i'm definitely not as fair as a lot of people but i'm not like actually medium skin tone okay so this one's tawny that could actually really work for me let's do a little swatch yeah that could work i would definitely use it with a light hand but let's That looks really nice. Let's try the other one, the lighter one, Sunkissed. No, I think this has definitely been swatched before. Like I tried to look for boxes that were closed, but you can like tell. You can like tell though, like right there in the middle, like someone swatched that. <sighs> That's a little unfortunate, but let me just go right over it. So that one looks a little light actually. Ooh, that barely even shows up on my skin let's try that one more time <laughs> oh okay that barely shows up so i think i'm definitely going to be using tawny i don't know if i can even use this one maybe in the winter i'll hold on to it but i like barely see that on my skin <laughs> But either way, I'm really excited to be trying out Makeup Geek. I didn't see any eyeshadows at the Target that I went to. I don't know if they're going to like carry eyeshadows or if it's just going to be like base products. But at my Target, all I saw were like bronzers and highlighters. They didn't even have a full display. It was like on an end cap and they just had a little bit of Makeup Geek. So I am really excited to try out these products. So personally, it's been a while since I've really tried any other CoverGirl products. And while I was at the Walmart, I found a couple of products that I haven't tried and I thought they'd be really cool. So the first one, I really want to try this because I've heard people give it rave reviews, especially for the summer, is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. So I picked up shade 530 Light Medium. With drugstore foundations, I try to just go darker than what I think I'm going to be. That way I can just lighten it because I don't really have a good way of darkening a foundation, but I could always you know lighten one um so it's supposed to be for oily skin but i feel like for the summer with all the sweat and you know whatnot this is probably going to be good i've been reaching more for bb creams and for lightweight foundations now that it's been like so hot you can barely do anything <laughs> so i'm really excited to try this one out and then i picked up two palettes from covergirl i'm not sure like how old these are but I haven't really seen a whole lot of people talk about them. They might be like really old. I don't know. The first is the Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. So it's actually got a highlighter, a blush, and then a bronzer. Can we focus? So this one actually has a highlighter, a blush, and then a bronzer. It's really cute. They're definitely trying to play off of like the Too Faced Peach Palette. It doesn't smell like peach. But it doesn't smell bad. You know? But I am really excited to try this out. The highlighter does look a little glittery in the pan. And the bronzer could work. It's a little light. But I think this like nice peach blush is going to look really pretty. So I am excited to try out this palette. And the last product that I got is also another palette from CoverGirl. This is the Chocoholic Contour Palette. So this one has like a contour bronzer shade. It's leaning more cool toned. And then there's two highlighters. So this palette also looks stunning. It actually smells like chocolate, <laughs> actual cocoa powder. And you've got like a gold highlight and like a pinky peach highlight. Ooh. Okay, so that pinky one is very smooth, very buttery. The gold one feels a little rough and it's got a little bit of glitter in it. Ooh, and that bronzer is pigmented. So I'm excited to try these out. I haven't been able to find like 
good face palettes from the drugstore recently and that's something I would like to experiment more with see what else is out there since I've been drawn to face palettes more than I have to like other palettes like my Too Faced that natural face palette is one of my favorites and I love having like all of your face options in one palette and then you can kind of like pull in like your eyeshadow and anything else you want to pop in but like for an everyday you're getting ready it's nice to have a face palette like already put together so that's everything for this collective haul hope you guys liked it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye